What's up YouTube? So you here today I'll be showing you as how to create a partition in your HTC Wildfire uh, S because uh, it's having a low memory and if you want to move your apps from your phone memory to your uh, SD card it isn't allowing for that you have to first create a partition and today I'll be showing you as how to create a partition the first thing you need to do is just connect your uh, uh, remove your USB and connect it uh, to your computer so after connecting your uh, USB to your computer, computer SD card then what you need to do is just uh, Want to do is just install the file that I'll be pro uh, providing for you in the description. So I'll be just dropping the scan in the description, and the file that I'll be providing is Mini Tools Partition, uh, Mini Tool Partition <coughs> Wizard Home Edition. It's a free software. You can Google it, search it, and. Um, after installing this wizard what we can do is uh, we'll be getting your uh, USB storage as my story is like 2 GB file and it's 1.3 GB free so what you need to do is just go into your uh, file uh, it's present here then click on it and right click on it and uh, click on move or resize partition now here you will be greeted with this uh, how much partition do you need uh, I just need like uh, 800 MB uh, partition for my apps so then after part, uh, making a partition click OK and you will be seeing here uh, another partition is created what you need to do is just right click on it and just uh, click on create after creating it just press on continue now what you need to do is here is just go in this uh, create as primary and create file type as ext3 or 2 it's your wish then uh, cluster size make it 4kb after doing this press ok and then click on apply So you will be seeing, uh, as you can see, all the files. It's making cluster. Till then, what you do is just go into your uh, Play Store. And, uh, oh, sorry, internet is new. So you can go into your Play Store and uh, now it's the it's it will be telling you as it's uh, uh, apply all the pending changes successful so after this has been done go and install an app which is known as link to link uh, link to sd click on it and install it while this file is being installed what you need to do is just uh, remove your me card and uh, as you can see I am removing the card here here is my 2GB card this has been successfully installed Now what you need to do is place your SD card uh, into your phone. So as you can see I am just uh, placing the SD card in my phone and it's done. After this, it will be telling uh, it will be telling that uh, preparing USB storage and all those stuff. Now, want you to go is uh, go into the Play Store and uh, install an app. For instance, WhatsApp. Okay, WhatsApp Messenger. Okay. 
install it as you can see the download progress has started and it's installing it so uh, while that is installing just go into your link to SD and grant the permission Okay, now what it's telling us to create a file which is known as ext or ext2. We have created the file ext3. So just uh, as I'm just zooming for you guys, just click on this ext and then click on um, okay. So it will be telling us please wait, restart your phone. Okay, now that it's installing the WhatsApp Messenger. So after this installation has been done and rebooting my phone, I'll be getting back to you guys. So now that uh, the phone has been rebooted, just go into a system. So I'll be showing you. I'll go into the settings. Go into apps. So here you will be sh uh, seeing that uh, in terms of it's the WhatsApp that I have installed is uh, stored into the phone memory. Now what you need to do is go into this link to SD app and uh, just wait for it to start okay now what you need, what you need to do is uh, click on search button and search for whatsapp now it's telling uh, it's giving you the option as move to SD card click on it and uh, click on ok and it will be uh, giving you a, a message as moving to SD card so just wait for it to for the process to be done if you have any doubts please do ask me in the comment section or message me I'll be uh, happily guiding you guys and this way you can just uh, store your apps to your SD card and everything will be fine if you if your phone gets bricked or anything like that all the apps that you have installed will be uh, on your phone on your SD card and you won't be having any problem the operation so it's telling you the operation has been completed successfully what you need to do is just go into the settings and I'll be showing you th that this has been moved from a uh, phone to your SD card as you can see the internal storage has now been more as you can see and uh, it's installed in this USB storage so you can see here uh, it will give you uh, more options for installing apps on your phone and uh, you won't be getting any problem installing more and more apps so hope you guys find my video helpful like my video please do comment subscribe peace